Hey guys, it was requested that I make a video on how to how I edit my videos. So we are here today doing that. And so right here we have my um, video that went up yesterday or should have gone up yesterday. And it's basically just um, a Mavic Air montage. And so right here I have the start of my clips. And the first shot is um, the Mavic Air going forward. So what I'm doing right here uh, is I'm splitting it. So when I try to make things ch change between two things, I want to do it when the beat changes. So as I indicate here, um, I'm gonna, just gonna, for some reason, the, I can't see, for, the screen recorder messed up like some of the things that you can and can't see, but I just grabbed another clip of uh, on the Mavic Air and put it in. So right when that beat changes, it just switches the thing. So like if there's like a change in sentences when you're vlogging or doing something, that's what you want to do there. So I was just tweaking around with it a little bit more to make it sound right and all that stuff. But then yeah, that's the um, how it works. And then what we have next is, so I'm just gonna, I keep doing that for a while. Um, probably just gonna cut out this part. Just cut it out right there. And let's, so then I'm gonna put in some transitions and stuff to, like if, if you have a shot, like that's gonna be doing something, um, make sure like it follows the motion. So this shot right here is a spinning shot, transitioning to a, um, a more of a, I don't know how to say it, which is like spinning into a, going from down and looking up. Now I have to like save it every five seconds because it's having problems because it has to render the whole video in 4K. But this is basically, um, see it goes up, it looks down, there's a little spin and I put in the spinning transition. It's very, it's pretty laggy. So I just click save a million times, click render. I have to wait for a while for it all to render. So I'll just wait for it to be done rendering. So once it's done rendering, it always plays in the beginning again. Um, but then um, you have it so uh, I just forgot to put in the title there, so I put in the title. And then uh, I just make sure that the it doesn't say DJI Spark October Montage, that was made from a template. So I had to put in DJI Mavic Air and Montage, because it's just a montage. Um, yeah, and I, after a little bit, I will just skip this part, um, just putting it in and all that. So then I'm just gonna keep working on the shots and just making sure it's fine tuned and all that. So now we're here and the, uh, it's doing the transition and that spin transition, I don't really like it because it kind of held it out a little bit too long and it jerks back. So I kind of change it right here or something like that. I don't remember exactly what I did, but I think I changed it because I didn't like the way the transition looked. So I deleted it just like that. It, for some reason, it just will not show the, um, the pop-up menus in Adobe. Uh, but what I'm doing is a lot of these clips, to match them with the music, I'm actually speeding them up. So many of these clips are sped up 300%, 600%, some of them 800%. And so I put in that transition that's like the weird boxy transition. I kind of use that a little too much in the video. But th things to remember are just make sure when you're transitioning, transition when there's a beat. And make sure the transition kind of matches with the footage you're doing. Like if it's a transition that slides it one way, make sure the, the shot is panning that way or do something to make it go along the lines of that. So that's always something important to have. And then I think around here, my computer, Adobe Premiere, just like completely broke. But here I have another thing I need to show, I want to show you all is um, the, uh, the custom transition. So I put in this thing. So here, right here, I'm making a custom transition. So what I do is I make sure that this one part is going to be a transition. So I split it right there. And then I drag in the lens distortion. This is going to be a zoom one because I think the default zoom things are kind of quirky and this is where my computer crashes because I tried to animate all of the um, every single aspect of the clip instead of just one which was the distortion on the edges and then the whole computer just froze up Adobe Premiere and 
I had to reopen it, so I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm editing the video as we speak. So I'm just gonna drop in the second clip, which is 21 minutes long. We are not going to make this video go on that long. So then um, the second clip picks up where I've fixed everything because I didn't save some of that stuff, but I just um, split it again and do this, make sure I do it right this time. I'm, Cause I was kind of scared to click save like every five seconds when doing this. So then we have about, then make sure I and only animate the top one I don't know if every editor has something like this. Um, this is something that just Adobe Premiere has. And I, then it kind of froze up here again. It was pretty weird. Um, but it does it a lot. But then it starts saving it. I, I, I still have no idea why the things won't pop up. But then I think it renders it or something. And I accidentally put the distortion the wrong way. So I need to bring it back the other way. So I click on that and set it to zero and then click save because I'm pretty scared that it's going to crash again. But then to make sure that I've um, skips back to the beginning and I make sure that that's all good. And then you can see right there, I have my shot, which was pretty nice. And then for the rest of the video, I, my printer is going off. What on earth? So for the rest of the video, all I did was just doing the same things over and over again to get the same effect. So, what, and I'm just putting in clips, um, adding transitions, and doing the same thing over and over again, making sure it lines up with the beat. Those are some of the critical things that I use when I edit, making sure everything flows. So, I hope that helped you, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And my printer still is not going off. A lot of things are printing. Yeah. All right. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah. Let me know if you need anything else to be elaborated on in the comments and I will answer it for you. Thanks for watching and um, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.